Hello everybody, Scratch and Minutes here. Um, so I've been busy with school and stuff lately, but I'll try to upload more frequently from now on. Oh, and by the way, we reached 100 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. I really do. I really appreciate all your support. So 2023 is near and just around the corner. To celebrate its arrival, today we'll be making a New Year countdown program. This program is reusable and really powerful, so you can use it every year without any kind of limits. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to create a new block, and we're going to name it Leap Year Calculation. So basically this function is going to allow us to know if a certain year is a leap year or not. We're going to add a number input and name it Year. And let's click OK. And now we're going to get a if else block and if the value year mod 400 equals zero. So basically if it's the multiple of 400, then we're going to create a new variable and name it leap year. And this is going to be the output variable. And then we're going to set it to one. And then we're going to copy it. And then if year mod 100 equals 0, then we're going to set it to 0 because it's not a leap year. And then we're going to do this again. And if this time, if year mod 4 equals 0, then it's a leap year again. And if none of these are true, then we're... And then we can just simply test this out. So, for instance, if we enter a year, say, 2022, which is a time in which I am recording this video, the function tells us that, no, it's not a leap year. But if we enter a year, say, 2020, then yes, it tells us that it is a leap year, and it's true. So, yeah, this function work, works quite well. Alright, now we're going to create a second block, and we're going to name it add days in years all right and now make sure to check this run without screen re screen refresh option on the bottom right here it's important and then we're going to define it uh, now we're going to create a new variable and name it index it's basically a counter all right so we're going to set index to zero and then we're going to repeat a uh, hundred times. We're going to pull out our leap year calculation function and we're going to set the year to 2000 plus the index. All right. And then we're going to get the leap year value out of this function. And then so we're going to create a list here and we're going to name it days in years so this is gonna and now we're going to add a value to this list and the value is going to be 365 plus leap year and then we're going to be changing our index by one and if we test it out yes we can see that it has the numbers day number of days in years from the year 2000 to 2099 in order all right now we're going to create a third block and name it current date calculation make sure to check the run without screen refresh option all righty so we're going to create another variable and name is CDC index. CDC stands for current day calculation, by the way. This is basically just another index variable. All right, now we're going to set our CDC index to zero. And let's make another variable named days added. And we'll also set that to zero. All right, and now we're going to repeat the current year minus 2,000 times. Alright, and now we're gonna let's see. Let's change our CDC index by 1. And then we're gonna change our days added value by 
item item let's see item CDC index of days and years and the right so let's create another variable and let's name it um, current current date yeah current date and we're gonna click OK and we're gonna set our current date set our current date to the floor value of days since 2000 minus the days added value wait why isn't this working oh oh sorry uh, I forgot to set the days added value to zero at the beginning all right now this function tells us how many days have passed since the beginning of the year in my case it's five hundred three hundred and fifty seven okay so now we have some of the hardest parts done I'm gonna get some assets that I have made or I have made beforehand and if you're looking to get these you can just click the link down below and get them all right So I got all my assets. Um, I have made two backgrounds and ten sprites for the countdown sprite. So let's see. I made two backgrounds: one for the actual countdowning parts, and one for January first when the new year is actually here. For a day, we're gonna celebrate with the screen. All right, and then. I've made uh, number costumes from zero to nine in my in our main countdown sprite, uh, just like that. Yep, zero to all the way to nine. If you're trying to make a countdown project like mine, I do recommend that you get all my assets and modify them to your liking. All right, let's make another block, and this time we're gonna name it Show Countdown, and we're gonna add two number inputs called N and X. So this is just gonna be. Uh, oh wait, no. Check the run without screen refresh option. It's important. Check the run without screen refresh option. Check it. Uh, this is just gonna be the score counter sprite that I covered in another video. Let's create another variable named in wait oh no I already have index sorry all right all right let's set our index to zero and then we're gonna go to the X position X minus oh, wait oh my god okay uh, the length of n minus one multiplied by twenty well twenty is just a value that you can give and then we're going to subtract that from x and put it in our x coordinates right so you should play around with this this is not an absolute value you should just try to make it fit to your project and i'm also going to set the size to ninety and then I'm going to show our sprite. And then I'm going to repeat the length of n times. Hmm, let's see. Uh, okay, so we're going to change our index by 1. And then let's switch our costume to the letter index. Wait, yeah, the letter index of... N. and then we're gonna create a clone of myself and then we're gonna change our exposition by a value but this value should be this value multiplied by 2 this is important all right and then we're gonna hide and okay so let's test it this test this out. Uh, I'm going to enter the number, let's say, 159 at the x-coordinates. 
minus 164. Ooh, now that works well. But this does need some, you know, alterations here and there. So I am going to get back to you while I figure out all these coordinates. Okay, now we have almost all the pieces of the jigsaw. Now we just need to put them together. Uh, let's get the green fret. Actually, no, let's do that on the stage instead. That way it's a bit more clean. The green flag clicked, and we're going to broadcast a new message, and we're going to name it clean, clear, clear, clear countdown. And then we're going to repeat it forever. It's a tick function, if you must know. All right. And we're going to get an if else block. And we're going to name it New Year. Uh, so this New Year value is going to tell us if it's January 1st. It's that simple. So if the current month equals 1 and the current day is also 1, it's January 1st. And we're going to celebrate this project is going to celebrate the new year for that day so we're going to set our new year value to 1 and if it's not january 1st then we're going to set it to 0 and i've also made two costumes and if it's not January first, then it's gonna be the default, the default screen. Okay, and then we're gonna broadcast another message, and it's gonna be named Show Countdown. Okay, so we're gonna get back to our countdown thing, and when I receive Clear Countdown, we're gonna delete all the clones, and when we receive Show Countdown. Uh, if New Year equals 1, which means, well, like I said, January 1st, we don't want to immediately show that 164 days are remaining after uh, the New Year is here. So we're going to set the value 0 for that day. And so we're going to have to show these numbers at four places um on the stage but the values do need some alterations like i said before so i'm gonna get back to you okay so if new year is one i'm gonna place the number zero and you know that days hours minutes and seconds all right and if it's not january the first then for the day section we're gonna do the value 364 plus the leap year variable oh wait oh no we need to subtract the current date variable from that value and yeah that's the days left until the new year and then for the show countdown hours we're gonna do current hour and we're gonna subtract that from 23 for the minutes we're gonna subtract the minute from 59 and for the second we're gonna subtract that from 59 as well ooh and there we go we have the basics done so yeah so this is basically an accurate version of a new year countdown i know what i'm saying at this point it's a mess but okay oh and did you notice the the blank space tail shift anyway the blank space on the screen here uh we're gonna fill that up with another sprite so follow follow along we're gonna create another sprite and we're gonna name it uh let's say year uh, I've also made the costumes for this beforehand and so yes I have the numbers 2222 to 2025 I'm just gonna reposition them a bit and the script is like really ridiculously simple so 
let's get the let's see let's get the when when I receive show countdown which is a tick function and then we're gonna get an if else block and if new year equals one which means it's January the first again um, we're gonna go to a certain position let's say minus 70 and no, 71 71 and 98 uh, these two variables are different. I noted them before I recorded this video, so I know where it has to be. But for me, it's two different spots, so I had two different coordinates. But you should just test this these out yourself. And if if New Year is one, we're gonna set our costume to join current year with nothing. This will switch the number value to a string. All right, and then if it's not New Year, then we're gonna set our costume to current year plus one. So until 2023, four, five, and stuff. Okay, so well, that's it. This is the finished version, and well, I originally planned to make a display of fireworks and other stuff, but I really didn't have the time, and I was busy with stuff, so. I'm sorry, but you can customize this in any way you want, and it's really powerful, so you can use it year after year, and it probably <laughs> won't break. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video, and bye!